on guys it's your boy Edward here and uh, before I say what I have to say I just want to apologize to all the people that I've hurt bothered and everything throughout my five plus years on YouTube I'm so so sorry to all those people who were somewhat bullied and so much bullshit I put through their heads and shit so again I'll apologize for all that all you guys uh I'm not here for like drama and stuff i just want to talk about the state and possibly the death of wwe supercar on youtube because it is now getting somewhat serious at this aspect so as you all know i've been a youtuber now for for almost six years on this channel of supercard six years of promoting this game given 2k cat daddy games all the advertisement in the world uh, they have given me zero rec recognition to anybody out there I've literally had to carry my channel myself I didn't have I never got any gifts I never I only got one tweet ever from them they just didn't really give a crap about me at all as a person because again I was very vulgar about the game to this day, I'm going to be vulgar about the game because, again, I want the perfect game supercar out there. Sure, games can't be perfect, but I want it to be reasonable. And we don't get that right now in supercar. We haven't had that in years. And I'll continue to be vocal about it because, but because again, at the end of the day, they don't care about anything I have to say as a person. As much as I found all the glitches and the bugs and the problems they had and had to report it to others because they don't have contact with me, it's annoying. And doing this for six years, it's sad that a company has to literally just throw me to the side like I'm a fucking piece of shit. And it's frustrating as hell. So, six years of doing YouTube, 20,000 subscribers. Honestly, I kind of see that as a failure. I, I could have grown to be something deep down much more bigger in my opinion. Unfortunately, I never really grew because maybe I wasn't the type of content creator people wanted me to be. You know, I w Even though I am straightforward and stuff, I am also very honest and you know, I'm very vulgar about stuff. And again, that could turn people away, especially young children if they, because you know, I really don't have a young audience in my opinion. Uh, I would say maybe 40% of the people that watch me are above the age of 18. At least that's what YouTube algorithm says. Who knows? But again, I didn't attract that audience. And I've been doing Supercar now for six years. And I've loved this game so much from seasons one, two, and three. And the game is just... The game isn't just what it used to be. The game is just terrible in every aspect of the way. We don't get content in Supercard anymore for us YouTubers to give to you guys the way. Like, literally, our content every single day at 3 p.m. is, here's a brand new freaking pack. Open it with your money and see what happens. And literally, those packs are not cheap at all. Those packs are literally between $50 to $100. And those packs literally will not be returned in money. If as a YouTuber you want your investing and deep down if you're not a big YouTuber like JB and others out there who have like you know can get probably I would say estimate of 10k plus views in your video you're not gonna get your money back whatsoever you're, yeah, that money is gone also the way go like sure you may gain some subs your views may go up a little bit in the thousands but again you're not gonna get your return and as for YouTubers, their main goal is, you know, to at least break even, make money or stuff like that, and give you guys quality content at the same time. Now, again, I don't mind spending money here and there, but if you think I'm going to spend thousands of dollars a month on a mobile fucking car game to grow, you are out of your freaking mind. Uh, you know, I do work the 9 to 5 job. <laughs> Not really, but... Uh, I do work a job. I've been doing. I've been working now 12 years straight, almost since getting like leaving college. 
I've just been working my ass off, working, 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 working. That's all I ever fucking do is work, and then when I'm home, I'm playing games. That is my life, <laughs> literally. But you can't expect me to pay an entire paycheck to keep up with people in this game. And again, everything is just pay, 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 pay money in this game right now. That's all it is. Season 6 has just been, you want to progress and just have a hobby life season? Fine. Give us hundreds of dollars, and here's your card. Fuck off. We'll see you in two months for another repeat, another repeat, another repeat, so forth and so forth. And uh, Supercar Now is honestly just a fucking terrible game. Right now, it is fucking terrible. So it's Many people can't even play this game at all. And I'm scared. I'm scared that one day, guys, honestly, I'm just going to throw in the towel. One day, I'm going to just throw in my YouTube career as well. Because, again, once Supercar dies, my YouTube channel dies. And I don't want it to die. I really don't. But, again, you know, I do this... You know, for fun, YouTube would do for fun, but I also want to take it serious and grow into something that could be. But I can't. With WWE Supercard, the way it is, the content that we get, we don't have daily patterns, we don't get daily stuff. We can't do anything. As a content creator who gets shoved to the side by 2K and Cat Daddy, there's nothing I can do at all. I have to rely on them to help me get content. And they're, just, and they're not providing it for me. And they're not providing it for anyone else. Unless they spend money on fucking packs. And it's like I said, unless you're a big YouTuber, you're not going to get your money back. YouTubers do this to get to get their money back in return, make maybe even a little profit off it. But again, the odds of us, the odds of every YouTuber doing it, it's just not going to happen. YouTube has gone to shit for Supercard. And I'm one of those people who is suffering right now from it. Again, like I'm making my money at my job easily. <laughs> Paying my bills like nothing, making more money. I'm sp I'm spending more money on Valorant these days. I literally have spent like four or five hundred dollars on Valorant the past month and a half too, instead of WWE Supercard because I refuse to give these guys my money over nonsense bullshit. And again, these these guys don't even fucking support me one bit at all. You know, I feel like Valorant one day may even give me a sponsorship at this point. You see all the skins I buy, but again, I'm not a Valorant channel, so I can understand them not giving me a sponsorship like that. But every single day we get these stupid ass things again we have a quest right now people are struggling with their quest right now and i guess if you if you aren't a player like unlike us you gotta pretty much pay 500 credits every single time to progress again it's it's money a 35 dollar pack 40 dollar pack right over here and if you pack something that you don't need $35, $40 is going down the fucking drain. Any game out there, at least you get somewhat something in return for your money. Like in FIFA, you spend $50. Guess what? You didn't get a good player. Guess what? You got coins out of all those packs that you could potentially buy a player. As much as we hate EA Sports when it comes to FIFA and stuff, at least you get something in return. And you couldn't even get more value than you, you packed, you know? But again, for this game, the algorithm... It just doesn't work. Like, again, these packs used to cost us $20, and now it is literally almost more than double that. Because, again, this is pretty much a $50 pack, but in term of coins, it is like a $40 pack. But, again, you got to spend 50 bucks to get it. And then, again, you get jack shit. And then you get this game right over here, which, unless you're, like, the luckiest fuck in the world, which again, no one is lucky as fuck in this game, you are looking at 50k credits just to get a pro, does Cat Daddy really think, and 2k really think, again, unless you're getting your credits cheap as fuck, people are going to spend $350 on a fucking card right now, which is only going to be useful for two more fucking weeks in this game, it blows my mind, and Supercard is going down a path that it blows my mind. We're 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 in the shit, boys. And I'm and my YouTube channel has been suffering for this. Uh, I'd say the past week or so, I've lost maybe 50 subscribers. Maybe people are just bored of the game. People just don't like my content no more. To be honest, I don't even know what it could potentially be. But deep down, I feel like many people are just hating Supercard right now in general. 
it is honestly in the poorest state I've ever seen it in. A lot of content creators, they used to get 2 million in views, can't even get a million. Hell, they're just struggling to get to 750 from Social Blade stuff. It is really bad right now. And uh, I don't see it improving anytime soon, to be honest with you. And again, 2K and Cat Daddy, don't bother talking to me. Don't ask me for advice or anything like that, which I could easily give them to how to make their game better and less pay to win. Stop putting everything behind a damn wall. But again, I'm just that guy who's, who's just a content creator for them who doesn't get any recognition at all. And again, when it comes time to a new season, no disrespect to any other content creators out there like Tony Pizza Guy, uh... It's my yard, uh, you know, 2K content creators. No disrespect to them, but these guys are given opportunities left and right by Supercard to advertise their game. And for the smaller YouTubers that advertise their game every single day who have built a community, have built an audience, we get pushed to the side. And then these guys get the content that we should have had gotten. And they, like, pretty much get the spike in views and subs while wow, that could have gone to someone else who could have used it and deserved it all you have to do on supercard is advertise that person on your channel and boom their numbers will grow instead it goes to people who don't give one flying crap about your game all they care about is hey thank you supercard this will help me boost my subs this will help me boost my views for a little bit this will give me a little, little money in my pocket thank you 2k for helping me grow even though I've already grown for different other reasons than Supercard. It's crazy. Supercard, I don't know what else to say no more. What, like what's gonna happen with Supercard going down the road? What does season seven hold? Will season seven be the official death of Supercard? Only time will tell.